Hello, my name is John Sackstetter. I'm the president of Mark Anthony Brewing. It was an honor to be asked to speak with you today and kick off the Columbia Chamber Impact Awards. I want to thank Mr. Carl Blackstone and the members of the Chamber Executive Team for this great opportunity. Being new to the community, I wish that we could have all been together so that I would have had a chance to meet you in person. I understand the annual Impact Award ceremony is always a great event, and I look forward to the day when we can meet in person to enjoy the excitement of a live ceremony again. Since we're new to the neighborhood, I thought I'd start today off with a bit of an introduction of the Mark Anthony Group of Companies. Most of you would have never heard of us before and likely recognize some of our famous brands in the U.S. like Mike's Hard Lemonade and White Claw. But there's much more to our company that I'd like to share. The Mark Anthony Group is a single ownership company founded in 1972 by Anthony Von Mondel in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. From humble beginnings as a wine merchant, Anthony has organically built the company into an international alcoholic drink company with a wide array of wine, spirits, and flavored malt beverage drinks. In British Columbia, Canada, there's a beautiful region just east of Vancouver called the Okanagan Valley. The valley surrounds a 90-mile-long lake, which is home to some of the best wine-growing soil and climates in the world. This photo is of the Naramata Bench overlooking the Okanagan Lake. This is one of our 47 family-owned estate vineyards in the valley. In 1981, Anthony acquired a nearly bankrupt winery on this site and renamed it Mission Hill for its stunning hilltop location. A six-year renovation project completed in 2000 created this architectural landmark, which also has stunned the wine world by winning world's best Chardonnay at the International Wine and Spirits Competition. This winery attracts over 300,000 visitors annually. That's Anthony on the left giving a tour to a couple of our more famous guests. Martin's Lane Winery, named for Anthony's late father, Dr. Martin Von Mondel, was Anthony's second winery project with architect Tom Kunding. This six-level, gravity-fed Pinot Noir and Riesling winery is carved into a steep hillside overlooking the lake. There are no pumps at the winery, and the winemakers leverage gravity to allow the delicate grapes to flow rather than be pumped through the facility. Recently, Martin's Lane was awarded the trophy for top Pinot Noir in the world at the Decanter World Wine Awards in London, one of the most prestigious competitions in the world. Our Cedar Creek Estate Winery is designed as a series of contemporary farmhouses, including a wine tasting room, private members lounge, and the Home Block Restaurant, which has been recognized as one of the finest culinary experiences in the entire valley. There's certainly more to share about our wineries, but I'm hoping that that piqued your curiosity enough for you to consider a trip to the Okanagan someday, and the rest of the story is better told through experiencing the wine and the beauty for yourself. We'd like to share this detail about our wineries for two reasons. First, the wineries and the vineyards are the heart of our company. The beauty of the landscape and architecture inspire us as we set our goals within our roles in the company. Second, it helps frame our commitment to passion to produce the highest quality products in whatever category we compete in. Now let's get to why we're here. In the US, Mark Anthony Brands Company has been the fastest growing beer company four straight years. In fact, since our launch of Mike's Hard Lemonade 22 years ago, Mark Anthony Brands has grown to become the fourth largest beer company in the US, only behind ABI, Molson Coors, and Constellation. White Claw has been a transformational brand, not only within our company, but within the beer industry. In 2016, there were six seltzer brands in the US. In 2020, there were 156, and it's expected to grow to over 250 in 2021. In 2018, one in every 100 beers sold was a hard seltzer. In 2019, it had jumped to one in every 30 beers. And this past summer, one in every 10 beers sold was a hard seltzer. Fortunately for us, the White Claw brand has maintained a nearly 50% share of the hard seltzer category. And our number two competitor is more than 20 points behind us. White Claw dominates the category and there's more room to grow. The Mark Anthony Brands team is not a one trick pony. They've enjoyed success across the full portfolio of brands, including Mike's Hard Lemonade, Mike's Harder, Cayman Jacks, and MXD Cocktails. Keeping pace with this meteoric growth has been the job of my team at Mark Anthony Brewing. The Mark Anthony Brewing team is charged with managing the end-to-end -end supply chain to support these amazing brands. Traditionally, we've used a model with no company production assets and leveraged our co-manufacturing network across the country. This all changed as the demand for White Claw simply could not be met by just using our co-manufacturing partners. 
We decided it was time for us to build and operate several of our own facilities in order to meet this unprecedented demand. We began in early 2020, simultaneously building two new breweries, one located in Hillside, New Jersey, just outside of Newark, and a second larger site in Glendale, Arizona. In New Jersey, we built a 3.5 million barrel brewery, installed two high-speed can lines, and two lines which repack single flavors into our top-selling variety packs. We completed the job in only 202 days. In Glendale, Arizona, we built what was at the time the largest new brewery in the United States in more than 25 years. This nearly 1 million square foot site has four high-speed can lines, two variety pack lines, and a 5.5 million barrel brewery and state-of-the-art equipment. From a dirt field, it took us only 280 days to produce the first packages off the line. This was a remarkable feat and one which most companies would take more than two years to complete. As I mentioned, Glendale was the largest brewery project in the last 25 years until we decided to come to Columbia, South Carolina. In November of last year, we announced plans to build our third brewery, which will be nearly 1.3 million square feet, have five packaging lines, three variety pack lines, and brewing capacity to support 85 million cases of production. We searched the entire Southeast region to find the best location for this plant. We wanted a community that would embrace the speed in which we wanted to operate and have the infrastructure of roads, power, water, and wastewater treatment ready to go. Most importantly, a community that would feel like home to us, a location with hardworking and talented people willing to support us as we build this new site. We found everything we were looking for in Richland County, Columbia, South Carolina. We broke ground November 30th and have been working nonstop since then. We're making great progress despite more rain than we expected and are on track to get the plant operational later this summer. This will now be the largest brewery built in the United States in the last 25 years. We are proud to now call South Carolina home. We'll employ more than 300 people once fully operational and we expect during peak construction, we'll have more than 700 people a day working on the site. We are off and running. I do wanna extend my thanks to a few of the many folks that have helped us get to this point. Thanks to Mr. Paul Livingston and Richland County Council, Mayor Benjamin and the City of Columbia, the Richland County Economic Development Team, and the team at Ready South Carolina. Special thanks to Secretary Hitt and Governor McMaster for their support of our project. I'm once again grateful to have had this opportunity to introduce the Mark Anthony Group of Companies and specifically Mark Anthony Brewing. We are so excited to be part of this community and look forward to meeting all of you in the coming months and years. Thank you, enjoy the rest of the show.